What's going on guys? It is week two of the throw photo challenge. A challenge where... <laughs> My puppy's going crazy here. It's a challenge where I challenge rooks or head to head in a photography challenge where we decide a certain challenge of a video, a certain genre or certain topic of a video or to a photo. We go out, shoot that photo, and you guys vote to who you think has the best photo. Last week's challenge was a sunset photo. This week's challenge is sound through photography. And I apologize if my dogs, because of course, as soon as I start talking, they want to play. It's sound through photography. So again, an interpretive type of challenge where we got to determine what we view as sound through photography, go out there and find something and shoot that photo. Got a great idea. R6 Obey, if you guys haven't seen him in one of my videos before, he used to, you know, he rides motorcycles with me. A really outstanding photographer. I'm gonna link his Instagram in the description and down here below, it is at R6 Obey. He has some fantastic photos on his Instagram. He's been really doing a lot of night photography, high bokeh depth type photos, really fantastic shots. He's got some really amazing photography on there, so go check him out. But he's gonna come over, we're gonna go out to a national or valley, not national, it's a state park here. We got a couple ideas. I think I have a really good idea for a photo, but I don't necessarily know if it's gonna work out, so hopefully it does, but we'll have to find out. Otherwise, we may have to abandon it and kind of figure something out on the fly. But I got a problem with today's freaking shoot. I hate cold weather, and if you guys will see it here in a second, but it is freaking snowing like crazy. It is cold, it's miserable outside, but for the challenge, I'm gonna go out there and do it for you guys and get out there and be motivated because I can't let the cold weather determine the types of videos that I put out. So I'm gonna get out there, I'm gonna push past that, I'm gonna get out there in the cold even though I hate it and try to shoot the best video that I can. Uh, it is kind of cool though because we have a lot of snow that just came down for the first time of the year here in Ohio. So hopefully we can add some of that to the photo, get a nice wintry landscape and, and involved maybe. So we'll find out how that goes. But without further ado, let's roll into the intro. As I mentioned to you guys, see, this is outside of my front window. It is snowing like crazy. Oh, I don't want to go out there. Oh, all right, well, I guess it's time to get dressed. All right, guys, what's going on? We are not doing something very safe, and I think Roby's a little nervous. Anyway, we're driving to uh, Blue Hen Falls in Cuyahoga Valley, Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Like I said, today's challenge is the sound through photography. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this place called Blue Hen Falls. They have a nice waterfall there. And I think that'll be a perfect spot to get a nice waterfall photo. And waterfalls traditionally have, you know, you kind of represent that with sound. So that's the kind of idea I have with this sort of video. Uh, we're gonna have to kind of figure it out because it's getting kind of hazy because it's snowing like crazy. Um, so we're gonna see if it works. We may have to abandon it and come up with something different. Uh, we'll have to find out. But like I said, guys, if you guys haven't met Roby before, there he is. He's, uh, he's been in several photos before, so or several videos, excuse me. So, all right, guys, well, I got to drive, so this is probably not very safe, but uh, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up of what I was thinking for the shot, and uh, we'll do some B-roll, and we'll get there, and we'll see what we can do with the shot. All right. We're out here. Sup. We're fording through. Dude, there's like uh, seven inches of snow. There's a lot of snow here. But yeah, so we're got to hike for a little bit and then uh, hopefully we get there before we go on right or left here. Yeah. Left. Uh, hopefully we can get there before we, uh, we lose too much sunset. So we'll find out. First shot we're going to go do though is we're going to go shoot 
uh, a man-made man -made. tree grove. Yeah, so it's perfect symmetrical. All the way down. Perfect symmetry. So that's first, symmetrical. and then we're gonna head towards Blue Hen Falls, and uh, from there, we'll see what we can get. I want you to take a look at this shot here. Look right behind me. The perfect symmetry of that shot is fantastic. We got Roby here, really getting in on it. Oh wow, I mean it's it's beautifully straight. I mean, look at that shot, it's gonna be perfect. All right, let me shoot some shots and, uh, but yeah, how perfect is that? It's beautiful. I'm gonna take some photos here and uh, get some good shots here. All right, so we just got some of those shots, as you could tell, perfect symmetry. Really, 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 really straight lines, leading lines, which is really nice. Um, honestly, the only thing I think that, as I'm walking back, that could have made that photo a little better, is possibly having Kyle walk down the, the trail. And that, that'll give you some sort of scale representation of how big those trees were. So, but that's about it. I don't even know what they're gonna look like when we get back into Photoshop and Lightroom. I'll know more, but we're heading back to the car so we can head over to the waterfall. We are here at Blue Hen Falls. We are walking the trail right now, and it is a fucking death trap. Let me show you. There's Roby. We're trying to get on this little slick embankment. Holy crap. Oh, all right. We got a little bit of a hike to the falls and then I will come back. We're running out of daylight. So hopefully we get there. It may turn into a if not, we really long exposure. Spooky camera that we can hold up to our faces as we talk. Yeah, well, we brought a flashlight, so hopefully we don't eat shit down this fucking hill. All right, I gotta concentrate or I'm gonna die. Bye. All right, as you can see behind me, it is Blue Hen Falls, so we gotta go that way. Go down and try to get in front of it. But dude, it sounds so gorgeous. That's that sound out. That's the sound you hear when you imagine a waterfall. So let's go ahead and try to get down. Uh, I'm gonna turn you off though, because otherwise I'm going to uh, fall and that's never a good thing. Here guys, um, as you can see, there's the waterfall behind me. We are thinking, probably gonna set up in this area and get a nice little shot of this. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch over to GoPro mode. We're gonna, this is the first time I'm really getting a full test of this. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Still haven't got the microphone for the GoPro, so I might have to do a voiceover. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we'll figure it out. So we're going to GoPro mode. All right, so nice long exposure here. How was that shot down there? Pretty good? Yeah. Walk down without shit here. We're gonna try different different composition here. We're gonna try coming in. Oh, shoot it! <laughs> we almost ate it right there, boys. But I guess we're gonna find out. Look at this shot. So we set you here. I think this is a pretty decent composition. You see. Come up just a little over here. Ooh, this water is cold. <laughs> Dude, I'm afraid I'm gonna eat it, but I'm gonna go for it. Oh! So here we are, we uh, just got done with the shot. It's really dark outside. So I probably got the ISO way up on the shot here. Hey guys, what's going on? I am finally back at the office. Got all the footage downloaded. I've called through some of the photos, found the one I liked, made some modifications. So I will show you the default picture. Here's the default picture that we've selected. My goal here 
is to really make the picture pop, add some real good color contrast to it, tons of contrast, tons of color uh, for my final image. So the only concern that I really have with the image is that the image is a little bit busy and I hope it really conveys the idea of sound through photography because in my head and as you watch some of those videos you could really hear the water rushing maybe going with this slow of a shutter speed and really making the water seem calm may have taken away some of the sound but unfortunately in this challenge we only have a week uh, to do it so our options are limited when it comes to redoing some of these things so when I went to the higher shutter speed to really add that rumble or that like intensity and sound to it all the snow that was falling really kind of just soaked into the picture and, and really made the picture unusable. Here's the final image here that we're going to go with here for the submission. Here is also Rooksers final submission. Here they are side by side. Let me know what you guys think. There is a poll in the upper corner here. Decide which one you guys like best. If you guys can't make the decision right now and you want to look at the photos a little bit differently, you can head over to the Instagram. There's a each post will be in that same Instagram. You can vote there as well if that's something that you'd prefer. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Again, I'm still working through some of the details on this. I hope you guys enjoyed week two challenge to sound through photography. My submission, again, is a nice waterfall. If you guys like my photo, please, please give me a vote. If you guys like Rooksers photo better, give him a vote and we'll go from there. Don't forget to attend the live stream on Sunday. 9 p.m. So while we discuss these photos and some of your guys' photos, don't forget to tag us at throw photo or hashtag throw photo, hashtag throw photo challenge with your guys' sound through photography shots. Next week's challenge is less is more. This one's an interpretive one. What does that mean? We're kind of thinking minimalistic shots, just more single subject, not so busy, just really simplistic, minimalistic type shot. I, that's how I'm seeing it. Rooksford may have a different opinion. Don't forget to check the details in the description for his video. Check his video out. Check out how he did his shots. Let him know what you guys think of his video. Again, don't forget to attend the live stream this Sunday at 9 p.m. so we can check out your shots as well as you guys critiquing our shots. And we critique each other's shots and we eventually figure out who won. And that does it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are still riding, don't forget to keep that rubber side down. Don't forget to enjoy the moment. Thanks for watching the video. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. Bye.